In this video, we will look at two vintage six lug snare drums from two iconic American drum makers, the Ludwig Pioneer and the Rogers Luxor. After a brief description, we'll do a head-to-head -head playing example of each. Back in the 60s when these drums were made, things were built to last, and both these drums have stood the test of time, and have actually grown in popularity in recent years. And although prices have gone up accordingly, they are still relatively affordable, with many available on the market. As of the making of this video, a Pioneer in good condition is selling anywhere from $275 to $500. This is also true of the Luxor model. The Ludwig Pioneer snare drum first appeared in 1939 for a few years and then later reappeared in the 1960 Ludwig catalog. It was marketed as a student model drum and it quickly became the leader in the budget drum market here in the United States. These drums are absolutely beautiful and were delivered in a variety of finishes including natural mahogany, sparkles, pearls, and my favorite, the two-tone duco. This particular drum is a 14 by five black diamond pearl from 1965. And although it's considered a student model drum, it was made using the same shell construction, interior finish, lugs, and snare strainer as Ludwig's other high-end wood shell models, such as the iconic Jazz Festival. The shells are three ply, made of mahogany, poplar, and mahogany, with maple reinforcement rings and a baseball bat tone control. The interior is finished with Ludwig's exclusive resin coat, which again is also found in more expensive models. Here it is in a Jazz Festival model from the 60s and again in this Jazz Festival reissue. The strainer is a P83, which was their top of the line strainer at the time. This was later replaced by the P85. The Rogers Luxor was first introduced in the 1959 catalog, but unlike the Pioneer, it was not marketed as one of their student model drums, as was the single flanged Classmate or Banner. In fact, the Luxor shares the same shell composition as the higher end Tower, Power Tone, and even the Dynasonic, whether it's the earlier three ply or later five ply formula. Early on, it came with a changing lineup of strainers, but by 1964, it came equipped with the Stay Tight strainer. It can be identified by the V-shape on the face. And by 1967, the Bantam strainer was introduced and used on these drums. Like the Pioneer, the Luxor also came in a variety of gorgeous finishes, including the Duco. This is a 1966 to 1967 14 by five Luxor model snare drum in blue sparkle finish with five ply Keller shells. It does not have a tone control as was standard on Rogers higher end drums, but by the early 60s, Rogers offered one as an option at an additional cost. It has the Bantam strainer, which by all accounts is very good, but is still considered to be a lower level strainer compared to the Swivomatic Permatension, otherwise known as the clock face strainer, which is found on this power tone and other high end Rogers models. And here it is on the reissued Dynasonic. Here are these two drums played head to head in a low and a medium tuning.
As far as the tuning goes, I found that I was getting some pretty wild overtones using these single ply heads when I was using no muffling. I'll be curious to do another round to see how these drums respond to heavier heads. My last note, and I'll leave it here, I did find that each tension rod makes a huge difference in tuning when turned even a tiny amount. This makes sense since each lug is responsible for more of the total tension on the head compared to an 8 or 10 lug drum. But once I got it dialed in, I was really happy with what I got. If you care to share your thoughts on these two drums or any other six lug snare drum, please leave it in the comments and thanks for watching.